Hello and welcome. Today we're going to take a look at how to fill out the Circle of Excellence Team Status Declaration Form. The Team Status Declaration Form is used by the Circle of Excellence Audit Group to track and verify team member participation. The good news is that it's a fairly quick and straightforward form to complete. Let's take a closer look. The form is compromised of three basic sections, all listed on the one-page form. The upper section is where you will put your company and team names. The middle section is where you list your team members and their dates of participation on your team. And the bottom section is where the principal or managing broker and the team leader will certify with their signatures that the information you have provided is correct. This form will need to be completed and sent in to Hurrah headquarters once per quarter. The first quarter report is due by January 15th. The second quarter report is due by April 15th. The third quarter report is due by July 15th and the fourth quarter report is due by October 15th. Failure to submit any of these quarterly team status declaration forms to Hurrah by these dates will make that quarter's production ineligible for your Circle of Excellence Award. When filling out your form, begin on the top line by entering your company name and below on the second line, your team name. Of course, matching the team name you will provide on your Circle of Excellence application. Next, we'll move to the middle portion of the form. Start by entering the team leader's name on line one. On line two, enter your team members' names. Please use a second sheet, if necessary, to include all of your team members. For the first quarter report, leave the start date column empty. The start date column only applies to team members that have joined your team within the awards year. Next, please check the box under January 1st, 2013 for the team leader and every team member that was a part of the team starting on January 1. Finally, proceed down to the certification section where the principal or managing broker and team leader will print and sign their names and report the date of signature. For your second quarter report, use the same form that you filled out for the first quarter. Do not remove the names for any team members that may have left your team since your first quarter report was filed. Simply leave the checkbox under April 1st blank if they have left your team in the first quarter. If you have any team members that are new since the first quarter report, please add them to the bottom of the list. Fill in the column titled Start Date for any new team members, including the date they joined your team, not the date of their first transaction with your team. Check marks are only to be placed in the boxes under the dates that team members were a part of the team. Leave the check boxes blank under the dates that team members were not part of your team. Repeat this process for the third and fourth quarter reports. Let's go through an example of a team member that has left the team. Sarah Brown has left the team on February 10th. So the first quarter box would remain checked, but we would leave the other three quarterly boxes empty. Alternatively, our new team member, Joe Smith, joined the team on March 1st. So the first quarter box would remain blank, but we would put a check mark in the second quarter box. 
Please remember to add the start date of any new members that have joined your team since the first of the year. For Joe Smith, we would fill in the box for March 5th. That's the end of the form. Please be sure to review the form carefully and feel free to call Hurrah at 757-473-9700 if you have any questions while filling out your form. Thanks for watching. To learn more, visit us on the web at www.hurrah.com.